Today is the first day of joint military drills being held by the United States and South Korea. The annual maneuvers will last from today until the 20th. About 26,000 U.S. troops and 50,000 South Korean soldiers will be taking part. U.S. warships, including the aircraft carrier John C. Stennis, and four to five Aegis destroyers, as well as a nuclear-powered attack submarine, will be used in the exercise. Meanwhile, the DPRK is threatening to declare war on the U.S., Japan, and Korea if its satellite launch is intercepted. The DPRK says it plans to launch a communications satellite as part of a peaceful space program. But U.S. and Japanese officials suspect the DPRK is actually test-firing a ballistic missile designed to carry a nuclear warhead. They say it uh, would shoot it down if necessary. A spokesman for the general staff of the Korean People's Army issued a three-point statement and announced stricter military control over the borders with South Korea. Uh, DPRK is also cutting off military communications while the U.S. and South Korea carry out joint military exercises. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has vowed to take strict retaliatory measures over any slight offensives from the United States and South Korea. The DPRK has taken a tough stand since tension on the Korean Peninsula further heightened early this year. It has ordered its armed forces to be on standby and warned it will retaliate against anyone seeking to block its planned satellite launch. Lee Xiang reports. Pyongyang is taking a tough stance over the ongoing U.S.-South Korea military maneuvers which involve tens of thousands of troops. The DPRK has warned that even the slightest provocation during the 12-day drills could trigger war. According to state-run media, the DPRK's military ordered all personnel to be fully combat ready. If the warmongers dare launch a war of aggression defying our repeated warnings, our revolutionary armed forces will counter it with a resolute, merciless, just war for reunification. The military also declared an all-out confrontation with the South, scrapped all inter-Korean peace accords, and stated they had already cut North-South military communications during the drills. The spokesman of the military's general staff said that interfering with the planned satellite launch would mean war. The DPRK has said it will launch a communication satellite as part of a peaceful space program. But U.S. and South Korean media allege the DPRK is instead going to test fire a ballistic missile capable of reaching U.S. territory. And it's believed that with tensions already high and continuing to rise, it would be premature to rule out the possibility of conflicts. Li Xiang. CCTV. A South Korea official said on Tuesday Pyongyang has agreed to open its border for South Koreans working in DPRK's border city of Kaesong. South Korean media reported that DPRK also agreed to resume overland trips across the border as of Tuesday morning.